Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you all and I hope you are all doing good. And I hope my um, American subscribers have carried on the celebrations from the 4th of July right into the weekend. Uh, this is kind of Sunday evening here as I film this um, in Scotland. Um, so I hope you've had a good weekend enjoying your fest fest festivities. Yeah, I hope you've really had a good time. Everyone is. <laughs> yeah, so um, I hope we had a good um, 4th of July Independence Day, which was my last shave, which was on, uh, when was that? Thursday? Um, yeah, I put a video up then, so I hope you've uh, all been celebrating and having a good time. Okay, let's get back to today's shave. Um, the razor for today is the Rockwell 6S. This, uh, of all the razors I've used, is my favourite razor to shave with. Um, it just works for me, it's just, I just like it. Stainless steel, uh, interchangeable plates with the numbers on the bottom there. These numbers correspond to the level of aggression you want in the shave. It's a three piece razor, it comes apart like that. So on this side you have level four, if you want it a bit milder you just flip it over uh, and have it on R2 which is Revel 2. <laughs> I don't know what that R stands for. Razor 2, I guess, I don't know. Uh, the brush is the DS Cosmetic Kerry Shaves brush. There it is there. Yeah, great brush, great backbone in this. Um, it's a soft knot, the tips are soft, but it does have a good bit of backbone. Uh, and people who have um, got one of these brushes have said that they really like it, so that's uh, really good to hear. Uh, I'm going to be bowl lathering today in the DS Cosmetics Kevy Shaves Bowl. Uh, you can see that there, Kevy Shaves logo. Not very clear, but it's clear enough. There's the soap in there. I've pressed it in and then just spread it around these grooves, which is uh, very nice. Uh, and the soap I'm going to be using, I mentioned that I hadn't heard of this company before. Um, I bought a razor, I bought the, the Razor Rock Game Changer, the 0.68 from Chris Clayton and Chris included this in the package and I'd never heard of it before. So here it is here. Southern Witchcraft's Pomona Shaving Soap. Now let me tell you a little bit about Southern Witchcraft. They're a, a company, obviously, that were started in 2017 by Stephen Joyner and Courtney Brooks. Uh, they're all their products are vegan, uh, vegan soaps. Um, yeah, they do aftershaves, EDTs, uh, stuff like that. I'll put the link to their website and you can go and check them out. But I hadn't heard of this company uh, based in the States. Um, Stephen Joyner actually is a guy who, if you follow someone on Instagram, someone who makes brushes called Dogwood Handcrafts, that's Stephen Joyner and he's kind of him and uh, Courtney. Um, kind of run this company, the soaps and the brushes and uh, I'll put links to everything. Stephen does, uh, he does whole YouTube videos with just making a brush on a lathe um, and it lasts for, you think my videos are long, this lasts for, some of these are like an hour and a half, two hours, but good fun, good, good to watch if you're into that sort of thing. So I'm going to be trying this today. The notes on this are apple, honey, red wine, spice and honeysuckle. Uh, and it smells, it smells great. It smells really, really nice. There's the soap there, I've scooped some out, put it in the bowl. So we shall use that. Now, what blade are you putting in the Rockwell 6S, Kevy? Good question. Um, I'm gonna be putting the spoiler in it. Here it is here, spoiler. This is the Gillette, um, is it super stainless or? Yeah, I think it's called that. Gillette Super Stainless Blade. There it is there. And on the back, there it is there. Now someone said this B3, you see where it says B3 there? Uh, that's the Gillette date code, so it's 19, is it 81 or 82? Something like that. This is the second use on this blade. So I shall load that into the Success. 
there it is there. Uh, and I'll put it on plate number four, which you can see there. Screw the handle on. Yeah, as I said, this is my favourite razor that I've used to date. I've used a lot of razors, but um, this one just seems to work well for me. Okay, let's uh, wet the brush. We need to soak this, it's a synthetic. And uh, let's just go to time with this soap. Yeah, I left that quite wet, so. Now, I've watched a couple of reviews on uh, YouTube of people using the Southern Witchcraft soap and they're supposed to be very very good so we shall see yeah as good as like your barrister and man's and stuff like that so I'll just keep creating a lather in this bowl here clink 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 just keep working it and working it now look, look at that, oh, it looks like a terrible lather, doesn't it? Really airy and frothy. Watch this one, you just keep, I'll just keep working this. Just keep whipping it up. Yeah, so how are you all doing? Are you doing well, I hope? What a nice scent. Yeah, here we're going out, it's coming together now. Yeah, so you've seen how that was really airy and stuff before. Look at it now, it's uh, starting to get some peaks into it. Yeah, so this is a, an all vegan soap. If, if that's your bag, hey, it sounds like a real cool cat. If that's your bag, daddy oh. Here from the brush. Yeah, all Kebby shapes loose here. It's not painful. It's not painful. Let's get the guy to make me a new wig. Okay. So like this now. Wow, this is uh, some lather here. Right, I think I'll, uh, I think that will do. You can see that there. Yeah, so um, I thought that it's way too much water, but it is a soap that can take a good amount of water. As you can see, look, it's got great shine on it as well. Very nice. Okay, let me just uh, wet the face a little bit. Get rid of that. the stuff that was on my hand. Someone complained in the last video. Kevy, what's going on? The video was only 28 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry for robbing all you people. Yeah, my videos do kind of tend to go on a bit, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Look at this lather. You can see that's not going to stop there. Yeah, look at that. Really nice. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this DS Cosmetic brush, it's soft, the tips are soft, but it has good, good backbone in it, really good backbone. Just get some more soap. Actually, I'll put some back in. Put some back in the bowl there, so I just dip the tips. Yeah, so how's your weekend been? Things is a uh, pretty quiet. 
uh, I did stuff around the house. And it tidied up a bit and went and snipped some soaps and and then um, did some test ladders. <laughs> this is Kevin was doing uh, the uh, laundry and the ironing and uh, washing up and uh, I offered her some lather. I said, you want some of this lather to wash the dishes up? But she said no. That looks nice. I think that can take even more water, but um, we'll leave it like that for now. And then we need to go back to it in time. Okay, let's uh, get some heat in this spoiler blade. There we go. Let's go with the first pass with the success on plate number four. Yeah, that can. That leather can take a lot more water. I hope you can see this okay with the sun. It's gonna get late into the evening again, so. Let's pull that down a bit. Oh, and I have uh, another comment from, let me just check. <clears throat> Reverend Sal de Misa. Sal de Misa or de Misa. Sal, I'm going to slow it down. Sal always says, um, Kevin, you shave way too fast. So, let's just slow it down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you can't slow the water down coming out the tap. Yeah, so I'll just uh, just take a deep breath, try and slow it down, and just enjoy it. This is a good soap. It's uh, it's slick. I've actually probably left it a little bit dry. It could probably take more water. As I've already said. blade still feels um, very smooth. Uh, it's wiping out the stubble, no problem. Oh no, I've got lather on my t-shirt. Rinsing with uh, cold water. Right. I'm going to take Sal's advice and just go really slow down this bit. The last few shaves have been, um, have been little weepers and stuff down here, so. Is that okay for you, Sal? Yeah, that's slick. Very nice. Okay, first pass done. Let me rinse and come back for pass number 
two. Okay, uh, for the second pass. Okay, I'm just going to put this on and see if, um, if it needs any more water. I'll just uh, dip the brush under the tap there. Yeah, the, uh, the scent strength on this soap, I would say, out of that little sample pot, it's probably about a four or five. Lathered up, it goes to about a six or seven. But they have um, lots of different scents. Yeah, it's a company I'd, I'd never heard of before. I don't know why. Probably because, um, I don't know if um, I'll need to check if West Coast Shaving and stuff sell them, but I know they have their own website. So. Always good to buy direct from the vendor, I think. Nice lather. Very nice. Okay, I'm leaving the uh, success on plate number four. Can you see that under there? Yeah, there we go. So let's go across the growth. Yeah, it's nice and uh, there's a nice cushion there as well on this soap. Even with the a thin lather, you can you can feel it. Yeah, and the slickness is absolutely superb. There's a little bit of overhang on this razor. Be careful when you're. That's it. There's a tiny little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it just sticking at the edge there. Yeah, but um, just be careful. Get that dog barking. Probably just a caught cartridge shaver. <sighs> Kevy. There's room for everyone on this planet. All sorts of shavers. Straight razor shavers, DE shavers, single edge shavers, cartridge razor shavers. There's room for everyone, Kevy. Please show some respect. Sorry. <laughs> what a total twat. <laughs> okay, second pass done. Let me run some combat for pass number three and more of this. Madness. 
Okay, rinsed off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this plate out, which is plate number four, flip it over to plate number two. You can see just there. Yeah. So just for the uh, against the grain pass and the pickups. So this will make make it a little less, a little bit more mild. Let me just fix that. Damn sun! I just didn't think it is showing up here in Scotland. <sighs> Got no right. <laughs> Doesn't it know I was right here? Okay, look how much lather is left in this bowl. Absolutely tons. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah, this is a nice scent. What did I say it was? Uh, apple, honey, red wine, spice and honeysuckle. Very nice. Great lather. I can tell... I can, I can tell by using this that the, the soap base is good. It's weird when you use um, a lot of soaps, a lot of different soaps. When, well, especially when I make the lather, I can just tell by the consistency um, how good the soap base is. Just when you're painting on like this, it's uh, yeah, I don't know. Good. Okay, here we go for the third pass against the growth on. Switch that up to plate two, switch it up, switch it down. Okay. There's uh, someone called me, just let me take that call. And we're back. Sorry, I had to take that call. That was a very important call. You know when you get these uh, very important calls? That you just have to take. I was waiting on it and waiting on it. And I said to myself, um, I'll go and shave and uh, guarantee when I start the shave they'll phone <laughs> and it did right answer us in the comment what you think the phone call was about and you can be as sarcastic <laughs> or as uh, witty as you like I won't mind I'm just going through my head here, some of the answers that I think you guys will uh, come up with. <laughs> this shape's all over the place. Look, I've started here, went across here, left this bit, half of this. Oh, well. As I always say, people, there's no right and wrong way. No right and wrong way. There's no right or wrong way.
yeah, whatever feels right for you, just go with that. If you want to do, um, if you want to do two passes once a week, if that's what works for you, great, go for it. If you want to do a hundred passes every day, if that works for you, go for it. And if you want me to shut the hell up, I will. But not today. Okay, three passes done. I've got soap up here. How the hell did I get soap up here? Look at this. What a mess. Let me rinse. Okay. See if there's anything needing picked up. A little bit there, even this jawline feels good. I'll just go for the usual place. You know what? I've not done the uh, I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. <laughs> what are you going to do now? There's a lot of flying out. Oh my god, what's happening in this shave? Right, let me just uh. So, really good. Yeah, I think I've seen, um, I think it was Rudd's uh, reviewed it, and he gave it a very high score. You know how he does this, um, you know, score out of 100, like overall sort of thing. And uh, yeah, he gave it a very high score. And I'll tell you what, it really is justified. Because I've had no issues whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to do the, uh, I'll do this little bit here and I'll do the De Niro technique. What's the De Niro technique? <laughs> Some people will have seen it before. Okay, so um, actually I'll, I'll show you what I mean first. Let me just take this ladder off. Okay, you see my chin there? You probably can't see it for that. Damn, son. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks kind of smooth there, right? But if I do this, you see how it's got little dimples in it? Um, that's just like my Robert De Niro face. Hey, come on. Then. So <laughs> if I do that, and shave there, it seems to get in between, the, the blade goes in between the little dimples. Hey, Polly. Ah, so <laughs> I don't know how that works for me. I never do it in every shape, but um, it just does. It just talking to me. <laughs> I don't know what face that is. Hmm? It's just been a big fool about, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. Let me uh, rinse this off. Wow. I'm going to gather some of the lather here <laughs> from the bowl. And there's tons of it. Absolutely tons. Yeah, let me just show you this. Look. Look at that. That's beautiful. And the cushion on it. Yeah, great. Okay, face wash with this fantastic soap and I'll see you in a moment or two for the post shave and I'll tell you why there's nothing on this shower shelf today. 
What a great scent. Great soap. Great scent, great soap, great razor, great blade, great brush. Shit shaver. That feels absolutely brilliant. Okay, on to the post shave. I'm a little bit stunned how good that shave was actually. Yeah, it feels great. Post shave feels really nice. Um, the Splash, Mersol, Formula C. Uh, this is like a, like a violet scent. I like it, very nice. Green, a green splash. I'm not kidding. Or one tiny little tingle there and nothing else anywhere else not even down here yeah that's nice if you've got um, Wickham's Parma Violet soap uh, the splash would be a perfect match for it. Okay, finish it off using again the Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm, 0% uh, alcohol. So, <laughs> I was going to say just a little splash of that, but this came out in a big amount, but that's okay, let's say. Uh, I'll put some on my arms. There's a, a bit much came out there. Wow, that feels incredible. That's one of the best shaves I've had in a while. I don't always say that, but. Um, some of the last few shaves, that damn sun, <laughs> some of the last shaves have been a little bit rough with wee burrs and stuff and just trying out different blades but this one, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, let's show me, let's, sh let's show me what I've used. Okay, Kevy, you used this brush. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> the brush today was the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves brush. Very good, great backbone, very soft, uh, whips up a lather, just a joy to use, a nice handle, look at that. Really nice. The razor, my favourite razor on this planet at the moment, there might be one out there that I haven't tried, uh, the Rockwell 6S. Uh, this is an adjustable razor, you, you change the plates up, you've there's lots of videos on it. Um, if you don't fancy the stainless version, there is a 6C chrome version which is slightly cheaper. Shaves just as good. Uh, inside that, the, the Gillette stainless steel spoiler blade on its second use. Excellent blade. Uh, there it is there. That was, yeah. Started off the first and second pass on plate number four and flipped it over to plate number two for the against the growth pass and the pickups. Excellent. Um, the soap started the shave for me, well other than the razor, uh, Southern Witchcraft's Pomona. Uh, now I didn't show you the ingredients so I might do that kind of back at the start of the video, I'll get a, a screenshot and I'll, I'll put that up uh, so you guys can take a look. But very good soap. Uh, I'll put a link to their website and you can go and check them out. Yeah, very high performance soap I would say. Takes loads of water, which I like. But um, I'll definitely be looking at their website to see um, what other soaps there are. Um, we then had a face wash with loads of lather. We bowl lathered in the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves bowl. There we go. Uh, with the ridges in it, very good. Uh, then had a face wash with the remainder of the lather. Rinsed off with icy cold water, 
Mer Salt Formula C and finished it off with Nivea Men. I told you Riley would go nuts. <laughs> Riley! Riley! Some grabbing one of his toys and getting in his mouth and going. <laughs> Riley, <laughs> Riley, it's okay. You know what? That'll be next door neighbour. They've got big dogs, <laughs> and uh, when he sees them pulling up in their drive, he goes absolutely nuts. Let me just go and let him out of the box. I'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> what a crazy dog! <laughs> Right, okay, where was I? Yeah, we finished off the shade, yeah. Blah de blah, Southern Witchcrafts. Um, yeah, I'll be checking these out. Um, right, okay, that's all for me for today. <laughs> Let me explain why there's nothing up there. The reason there's nothing up there, I wanted to put something up there, uh, and it was this, but I couldn't get it to balance. Uh, so this is, uh, like you guys in the States have Coca-Cola. This is our national drink in Scotland, uh, our fizzy drink, Iron Brew. Um, Brewed in Scotland to a secret recipe since 1901. Yeah. Have any of you tasted iron brew? Cheers. Mm, nice. But I couldn't get it to balance up on the uh, on the shelf. It kind of kept falling off, so that's the reason uh, nothing's up there, but I wanted to put that up there. Iron Brew from Scotland. Remember, if it's not Scottish, it's crap! Riley agrees. <laughs> okay, that's all for me for today. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Um, it's coming towards the end of it for me. Thank goodness. Uh, a wonderful shave. Um, yeah, I'll put links to everything and you can go and check it out. I hope this video hasn't been too short for you. It's probably about 40 minutes by now, but um, that's okay. What the hell? Um, you're only here once, so let's live it. Okay, uh, look after yourselves, enjoy your shaves, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, I love you all. Take care.